Hi. Today we will learn about coat of arms of South Africa, a country that was once divided by apartheid, and now is united, and become one of the leading country in the African continent. South Africa is located in the southernmost of Africa continent, and is surrounded by Atlantic Ocean to the west, and Indian Ocean to the east. For the land border, South Africa has some neighbors to the north as seen on the map. There is an enclave in South Africa, which lies Lesotho, an independent kingdom located within South Africa's borders. This enclave is unique, only few countries has an enclave within their territory, in example are, Italy Vatican, Morocco Spain, Belgium Netherlands. We already have a video about Italy, and have a planning to cover all of those countries' coat of arms. If you don't want to miss those countries' videos, please subscribe our channel, and click the notification button. Back to the South Africa, the recent coat of arms of South Africa, is a new one which replaced the older coat of arms from the apartheid era. This coat of arms was unveiled on April 27, 2000. In general, there are five components of the coat of arms, namely, light rays, secretary bird, protea flowers, shield, and ribbon. Now we are going to discuss the first component, the light rays. These rays come from the rising sun which symbolize the bright and energy of South Africa. We're moving to the second component, here we have the secretary bird below the light rays. This secretary bird, or Sagittarius serpentarius, is a native bird to the African continent and has characteristics such as vigilance, strength, and determination. These qualities are the aspirations and values of the South African people. In this coat of arms, the secretary bird is depicted with outstretched wings. This outstretched wings, symbolizes the cover provided for protecting all of South Africa's citizens. There were two people who were very instrumental in ending apartheid, namely Frederick Willem de Klerk, and Nelson Mandela. For their services in ending apartheid, and uniting the South African people, these two figures were awarded by the Nobel Peace Prize in 1993. Back to the coat of arms of South Africa, there is a depiction of a spear and a knob kiri, hold by a secretary bird. Knob kiri is a traditional weapon of many tribes in South Africa. Those weapons are positioned lying down, to symbolize the peace that will always be prioritized by South Africa. We are now moving to the next component, a protea flower, which cover the body of the secretary bird. Protea flower, or protea cinaroids, is an indigenous flower from South Africa, and known as beautiful flower, but has an ability to cope with long-term drought. In this coat of arms, the protea flower is stylized to form triangles with green, black, gold, and red colors. These triangles, also can be interpreted as mineral resources which are owned by South Africa in abundance. The first resource is, gold. South Africa is famous for its rich deposits of gold, and it has been a world significant gold producer for many years. The second resource is, platinum group metals. South Africa is the leading global producer of platinum, palladium, and rhodium. The third resource is, diamonds. South Africa has historically been a prominent producer of diamonds. Another big resource is, coal. South Africa is also a major producer of coal, primarily used for electricity generation. Those resources are very instrumental on economy, and export performance of South Africa. By exporting only four of these mining, South Africa gets a very large income. Their export earnings from platinum, gold, coal, and diamond, reach more than 25 billion US dollars annually. It is a huge amount of money, that is even bigger than the rich Brunei's GDP, or the GDP of several European countries. Back again to the coat of arms of South Africa. In this oval shield, we can see a depiction of two humans in attitude of greeting. The pose of greeting is symbolizing a unity among South African after an apartheid era. These men figures are derived from the Linton Stone, one of the oldest historical relic near Cape Town. Decision to choose picture in Linton Stone, is to commemorate that South Africa has been inhabited for a long time, 
since the prehistoric era. Now we will observe the flank side of the shield, which we can see big and beautiful elephant tusks. These ivory tusks, drawing inspiration from the African elephants which is known, for its wisdom and strong social bonds. These tusks highlight the resolution of New South Africa, to protect and to conserve the wildlife and natural resources while achieving economic growth. Moving to an object within tusks and shield, we have an ear of wheat which represent fertility of South African land. At the bottom of coat of arms, we have a green ribbon with a written motto in Khoisan language. This motto has the meaning, diverse people unite. A call for South African nation to unite it and hold the South African national pride. With a coat of arms full of philosophy and aspiration for unity, South Africa continues to move forward achieving a pluralistic and unified society. In 2010, South Africa was trusted to host the FIFA World Cup. This is the first World Cup on the African continent, and so far is the only international sport event that has been held in Africa. Those are the explanations of the coat of arms of South Africa, and a brief history or philosophy behind each component. We wish South Africa can continue to unite in peace, achieve prosperity, and provide justice for all of its people. Thank you for spending your time to learn about South Africa with us. If you find this video is informative and useful, please kindly like the video and subscribe this channel. Your like and subscribe will support this channel, and motivate us to make another video from other countries. Thank you, and have a nice day.